Alrighty, well today we're going to look at something a bit different. This is, a, this is a game for the Fairchild Channel F, I believe was the like full name for that retarded thing. Yes, the Fairchild Channel F, I had to re-fact check. Um, <clears throat> if you've never heard of that, I wouldn't be entirely surprised. That is a uh, an old, old console that came out in 76 or 77 and died like in the early, early 80s. There was only 26, 27, I'm going to say. I looked this shit up like three days before I film because I don't, I don't know. Who cares? Professionalism isn't what we're here for. We're here to look at the pretty shit. But yeah, there, there's not many games made for this thing. Like 26, I think is what, I'm pretty sure it's 26. Anyway, this is a, this is a game for it. This is a video cart three. Every one of them were numbered. They did not have individual names. And this one included a, I think just video blackjack actually. So yeah, and let's take a look at this thing. Um, you got the the rainbow in the corner, which I think all their fucking boxes have that. Honestly, I'm not sure if that was part of the Fairchild logo or what. Not sure. You got some cute little animations here. I couldn't tell you if that's what the game looks like or not. I highly doubt it. <laughs> and the threes like. I don't even know what you'd call that. It almost looks like it's being projected, but it looks kind of cheap. It's it's cool looking. Uh, it's just very different. And all the sides, you know, are basically the same damn thing. Yeah, exclusively for use with the Fairchild Video Entertainment System. Alrighty then. And yeah, this this box is beat up. Oh, okay. It contains uh. It contains. One video card cartridge, an instruction booklet, which I do not have. So, yeah. And, uh -huh, you see, this is what the games actually look like right here. Wow. Deal yourself into video blackjack for some fast action in these one- and two-player games. Gameplay in color only on color televisions. Ask your dealer to see other video card cartridges available. For play on your Fairchild Video Entertainment System. Build a library of video game fun. Mm. Um, yeah, these things, most of them are dirt cheap. Uh, I think there's, I think some of the latest, the last releases that came out are, are pretty expensive. But uh, it's cool to have. I don't have a Fairchild. And from what I understand, finding them in working orders, uh, expensive. But let's take a look at the cartridge to this bitch. Um yeah, like the, the box is just barely big enough for this bastard. Uh, before we even look at the front, see, I'm not sure how these went in exactly, but yeah, this is uh, spring loaded. It's kind of terrifying. It's a, it's a big weirdo, that's for sure. I mean, this thing is, this thing is massive here. Like, we'll, uh, we'll use like a Bugs Life box. Like, look at that. It's almost as big as a 64 box. <laughs> it's as big as damn game boxes. All right. Uh, I do love the grip at the end here, though. I bet that was to pull it out. You know, it feels nice. And the look of it, you know, I like this more than I like the box, actually. Um, I'm not sure why, but you can see the stickers kind of got that weird bubbly shit that some of these older cartridges get. You see that on the Atari a lot, too, unfortunately. Really, really shiny sticker, like super glossy and really good shape. Uh, whoever had this before me, I think, really definitely uh, kept it in the box just constantly. Couldn't keep that booklet, though, apparently. Oh, and uh, they typically have, like, the name of it also on the end here. This one does not have it, and from what I can tell, it's really common for them not to be on there because they fell off really, really easy, apparently. Which, if you have something like that, or an Atari game, by the way... Or NES, and the thing, the sticker's starting to peel. Here's a little tip for you: get some, uh, get some of this. This is old as shit, and you can't even tell what it's called anymore. But it's just called tacky glue, and it it works really good. Just use a little bit, and it 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 you know it holds that together a lot better, and it's not damaging to the sticker like super glue would be. Like I know some people have done, and it ruins it. 
Unless it eats away the plastic. Anyway, wow, that was incredibly off topic. But it's a cool looking cartridge. Um, pretty okay looking box too, actually. I, I like the cartridge a lot. Some neat to have. Maybe someday I'll get a working Fairchild and I can actually uh, play one of these games I got for it. I'll probably do a video on the uh, the other one I have at some point or another. But anyway, like if you enjoyed, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.